Hello, peoples. YouTube. How you doing? Um, and I haven't made a video talking in a while. Um, I just felt like I should talk about a few things. Um, it's just, it's, it's over, isn't it? Anyways, I, I feel that way. Um, just, like, games, you know? I just, I realize I don't have really much to say in terms of how to start this. Because I actually just got through talking about all this stuff to myself. I'm crazy. But, uh, just trying to understand what am I going to actually talk about here. Um, it's mainly the gaming industry and just gaming in general, uh, you know, entertainment. What do you find fun nowadays? Is it fun anymore? I personally don't think so. I mean, let's see, I kind of felt this way, uh, ever since 2004. This was a lot earlier than other gamers now today are saying, I mean, I see a lot of people talking about how just recently they're sick of this and, you know, they don't really want to support or even purchase games of today or consoles because it's just a bunch of shit. Now, I felt this way in 2004, um, 2004-2005, it was whenever the first person shooter genre blew up like exploded and then everybody wanted to copy that oh let's just stop what we're doing and let's make it like call of duty yeah let's uh let's change a gaming genre and make it a first person shooter i see a lot of games today that actually were different genres and they go and change into first person shooters like okay that makes a lot of sense. That just, in in my eyes, that just downs your whole credibility even more. It's just, it just, it just disgusts me. It disgusts me. Um, now, now, I'm the type of person where I actually didn't play games until I was eight years old. And there's a lot of people that say they've been playing games since they were three. Like, how the, like, I don't know. You just pick up the controller, you look at the screen, you're like, at that, that, at you, at that, you don't know what the hell's going on, but still, they played it. But, like, my family back then, I mean, I was born in 1985, so, you know, my family was really old fashioned, so they didn't know about games and care about games. But I think I seen, like, maybe at a friend's house, a friend I had at school, or maybe even my cousin had a, the, the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. And I would see it, and I'd be like, whoa, you know, they're they're controlling the thing on the screen, the man, you know, like Mario or whatever. So I had to have it. I wanted to play it. And that's how I became a gamer. This I think I got the Nintendo Entertainment System when I was eight years old. So it definitely changed my life. Look at me now, huh? But no, seriously, I've been gaming for a good long time. 16 good solid years of gaming. I've seen it all the uprise of gaming and the fall you know this is the fall we're already deep in it um so so yeah i mean i don't know it's just ever since the first person shooter i just don't care it's all about graphics right because everybody loves graphics I don't no but seriously i i just i don't i don't know like what what happened to people using their imaginations, you know? It's all about they want everything shown to them. They want to see the crisp, most beautiful graphics and I don't care. I don't care cuz like graphics don't make a game. Any true gamer at heart knows that graphics don't make a game. If you call yourself a true gamer and you say that graphics mean everything, you're in denial. You're not a true gamer. Just seriously, it, it's stupid. You know, like you have the little sprites. Back in the day, you use your imagination. You know, you have a text heavy RPG with funny dialogue that's so fucking funny and so awesome. 
excuse me, that it's just you use your imagination and your imagination is unlimited. You know, it's limitless. You could fucking go throughout the reaches of your mind and do whatever you want with it. I mean, this in particular, this this is it. This is a prime example right here. This this is my new favorite game. It's it's great. It's the best game ever made. I will stand by this. It I mean, I could go on about this seriously. It's there's no other game that's touched me like this. Seriously. I mean, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, just the fact that the whole time you're playing this game, it's so fun, it's so quirky, music's so great. Um, and it's just a happy feel about it, the whole game. Throughout the whole game, even though there's good and evil, there's strange moments, it's appealing, it's unique, you know? And the fact that when you get to the end, and you get to the final boss chamber, It's not happy anymore, is it? It changes. It twists. Your innocence is gone. It just there's no there's there's few games that can do something like this. It's a, it's a work of art. Few games that can do something like this. And I even I even bought the strategy guide. This this cost me eighty dollars. But to me, it's it, it I'll, I'll drop any money down on it. You can't get this anymore. You can only get it on eBay. So if you have money like that, drop the money. I dropped it, and it's it's great. This thing is great. So I'm, you can see I have the thing here because I'm actually reading it still. I'm, I'm got the page saved, but uh, but yeah, it's like oh, and everybody's going crazy. Ooh, next gen consoles now. What is what is it going to be? The Xbox Seven Twenty, the PlayStation Four. Uh, the Wii U, such a fucking retarded name. <sighs> I personally am done. That's the main reason why I wanted to make this video. I am personally done. This is what I'm going to be collecting nowadays. Okay? Old school systems. Old school systems that that have aged amazingly. That has some of the best games on the planet. And it's not like, oh, you play the same games over and over, blah, blah, blah. Even so, if, even if I did, they're so amazing, I could. But there's tons of games for these consoles that I have never played. And I can just go on eBay and buy it. If I find out I like it, that's that simple. But, yeah, it's just I'm done. I'm not going to buy the Wii U. I'm not going to buy the Xbox 720. <coughs> Locked out used discs. <coughs> yeah, fuck you, Microsoft. I'm not going to buy PlayStation 4. I have a PlayStation 3 over there, but it just, it's actually, out of all the consoles in my house, it actually is the one that's collecting the most dust. I don't use it. I don't use it. I. The internet is horrible on it. Maybe it's because my 360, my internet was configured for the 360, and if you use it for the PlayStation 3, 2, and Swamp O, it doesn't work as well. I really don't know. But the PlayStation 3, just I don't care about it. You know, they, like the PlayStation 2 and the, and the PlayStation 1, the controller was perfect. But with the PlayStation 3, Sony felt like they had to have trigger clicks for the R2 and L2 buttons. Just fucking retarded. It's 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 uncomfortable. It's it's awkward. They should have just stuck to the original. It's, it was fine. It was perfect control. It felt perfect. It felt like part of you. And uh, they decided to slightly change the D-pad on the PlayStation. See, the PlayStation 1 and 2's D-pad was vigorous, it was tough, it was precise. It felt good in your thumb. But it, the PlayStation 3, it's different. It's different material, it feels different, it's not as good. 
basically. Uh, do I have to speak about the D-pad for the 360? Oh, that fucking disc. It's a fucking abomination. Anyways. Yeah, so my PlayStation 3 plays Blu-rays. And I don't even buy that many Blu-rays. I have like four Blu-rays I bought and I, when I want to watch them. I use my PlayStation 3, but that's all it's good for. PlayStation 3, whatever. I don't care about it. You know, people go crazy about Uncharted. and their Uncharted and their God of Wars and their... I mean, God of War is good. I played the first one. I enjoyed it. I did get a chance to play the second one and not, none of the other ones. But I remember the first one being good. Um, but the Gears of War and their first-person shooters and their Call of Duty, I just don't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sue me. I, I just don't give a fuck. I'm old school. I'm old school gamer. Um, I could care less about these modern games. But um, I really just wanted to say that... Uh, I'm just not, I'm not digging it. I'm done. You know, I've, I've been abused by these game companies for the longest time, for years now. It's been, I say it's been at least five, six years. I've been abused by this shit, and a lot of old school gamers too. I'm not alone. I mean, you may be hearing the saying, you know, you're you're alone in this. No, I'm not alone actually. Have you seen other people's videos? Have you seen people being, you know, showing their anger and expressing it, and being pissed off? about how the, this generation of consoles is trash compared to anything else before it. It's all about this. They follow this. They saw this with Call of Duty. Then Japanese companies wanted to become this. So they started trying to make westernized games. That's the fucking stupidest thing you could ever do is to westernize your fucking games. In my opinion, Japanese games are the best types of games when done right. Japan has a sense of knowing how quality works. There's certain kinds of quality. And Japanese quality is the best. It's weird, but we like that type of thing. It's quirky, it's strange, it's epic. Epic stories, epic characters, epic musics, epic art design. I mean, it's all there. What does American have? American ass doesn't have shit. American ass garbage. That's just my opinion. I that's how I feel. I don't know. You know, people play Western RPGs. It's fine and all. You know, Skyrim's fun, I guess. But I actually stopped playing that. I played it for about, you know, like a good week or two. As far into it, and then I just stopped. I just stopped. Because I just don't, it's, it's so much to do, and I want to play other games. 